Welcome to all, myself Sharanya, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE at KS Rangasamy College of Technology. Today, we are going to see about topic of introduction to VLSI in CMOS design. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about what is VLSI, what, is, what do you mean by most law, generation of IC, then VLSI design flow, MOS transistor logic and CMOS logic. Let us discuss one by one. What is VLSI? VLSI means it is abbreviated very large scale integration. That means it integrates million number of transistors in single IC. So only it is named as a very large scale integration. Why we want to integrate a more number of transistors in single IC means because of we want to focus size, speed of the IC, size of the IC, power of power consumption of IC. Okay, what do you mean by Moore's law? Moose in, in, in 1965, he predicted uh, that the IC integrate, that is million of, and, uh, that is every two years we integrate, that is double uh, transistor count will be doubled. He predicted in 1965 itself. This graph shows uh, Moose, his law based on his law, that is every two years the transistor count will be doubled. Next topic is generation of IC. That means there is the uh, SSI, MSI, LSI, then VLSI, ULSI, GSI. SSI means small scale integration. This kind of IC has only um, the minimum of 100 transistors. This maximum 100 transistor, minimum 1 transistor. In the next we move to next generation of IC. That means MSI, medium scale integration means this kind of IC has consists more than 100 of transistor in same size of IC. If suppose move to next kind of IC that is LSI large scale integration in this IC consists the 1000 to 10,000 approximately 10 power 5 kind of transistor in single IC. Then we move to next IC that is VLSI that is very large scale integration. In this IC we integrate more number of transistors, million number of transistor integrated in single IC. So now, now we are going to focus this kind of IC only in this topic. Okay. The next generation of VLSI is G, there is ULSA, there is ultra large scale integration. Then the next kind of uh, generation is GSA, there is geon scale integration. Okay, what, uh, what, what kind of technology followed in VLSA? How, how, can, how can be possible to integrate more number of transistors in single IC using some kind of technology that is named as CMOS technology that is complementary metal oxide semiconductor. Or what do you mean by complementary metal oxide semiconductor means there is combination of NMOS and PMOS transistor. Why we are following this kind of technology for integrate the transistor in single IC means it is easy to fabricate easy to implement also it provides low power uh, delay pro it provides low power delay product other than uh, the CMOS technology is uh, BJT then a triple file device the silicon BJT next one next we are going to see about design flow of VLSI but here we are following two kind of hierarchy, design hierarchy that is top level design, bottom uh, level design. So this uh, the flow represents the top level design and bottom level design of VLSI design flow. Let us discuss one by one. This is the um, this design flow. We are uh, categorized into two ways that is logical design flow then uh, physical design flow. Logical design flow, physical design flow. May, may mainly this VLSI design flow has nine steps that is design entry first step is named as design entry the next step is logic synthesis then third step is system partitioning then pre simulation floor planning placement routing then circuit extraction the final step is post layout simulation so let us discuss one by one what do you mean by design entry when we are going to design ic we first we need what are the specification going to the design for our circuits. What are the specification need going to the design our circuit? That is using some tool we are following this design flow for designing the IC. Okay. So that is design entry means using HCL language or schematic entry we are design our circuit. 
the next step is logic synthesis after designing our program writing a coding or anything uh, writing a code using html language next we move to the synthesis part that is a logical synthesis that the synthesis means we create the netlist for our coding we uh, create a netlist that is um, in the form of circuit diagram so that is called as a logic synthesis next we move to the next step of the design to is system partitioning that means here we design we were, our circuit whole circuit is divided into small small circuit in this circuit we are uh, why we want to uh, divide it into small small, small circuit means we want to parallelly we want to check all kind of uh, all kind of output of our designed circuit so only we partition our circuit into small circuit so ne next step of what uh, design to of gsa is pre layout simulation before enter into the floor planning steps we move to the we go we are going to check the simulation of our design why we want to check our design whether we meet our requirement or not if no again we move to first step that is design entry after that everything is okay we move to the next step is floor planning so once we enter into the floor planning step we arrange the blocks of the netlist on the chip so after arrangement of the blocks of the netlist on the chip we move to the placement once we enter into the placement design we decide the location of all the cells in ic in ic then move to the next step is routing in this routing after place the our cells we route we interact and connect all the cells between the all the cells and blocks after routing we move to the circuit extraction here here we determine the resistance and capacitance of the interconnect of our circuit our design circuit so move in after circuit extraction we move to the post layout simulation once we enter into the post layout simulation we want to check whether once again we want to check whether we meet our requirement or not if no again we move to floor planning steps then finally we uh, go next to the one by one we want to check all the steps again we again once again we want to check post layout simulation part once we meet our requirement we move to the final step that is uh, send our final circuit final uh, concept uh, circuit is sent into the fabrication company that is the design flow of vlsi this is the another kind of pictorial representation of design flow of vlsi that means chip chip design concept to silicon same concept the first step is uh, we were, we need idea of our circuit so after uh, once we uh, fix our idea that is enter into the next step that is uh, our design entry step what are the specification need for our design what are the clock what is the clock frequency range what are the inputs what are the outputs for our design design all the specification in the step number 2 after we decide we move to the rts step that is register trans transistor logic once we design our program using html language that is hardware description language once we design our circuit we will we check the our function once we meet our requirement or that is our function is working correctly or not if no again when we want to change in the program then check again once again we want to check our function that is the verification step after verification we move to the next step fourth step synthesis in the synthesis part already we discuss or in the synthesis step we want to create our program converter into netlist that is the name as a logical synthesis in the synthesis uh, above synthesis part one for block diagram is present that is a layout part so we design our circuit our regular say circuit in the form of two way that is front end way and back end design in front end design we using hcl language we designed our circuit in back end design we using some schematic entry that is circuit level we designed our using some technology file we designed our circuit then that is converted into layout form that layout form uh, converted uh, sent into the synthesis part in the synthesis part finally we converted into final netlist of our designed circuit once we designed the circuit 
converted into netlist that is moved to the next step that is the physical design and then physical part only already discussed floor planning placement routing once we uh, we meet all the constraint in this design we move to the next step that is sta or sign off that is static timing analysis here only we are set the set time whole time we have designed all kind of uh, timing analysis done in this step itself okay once we meet our requirement we move to the next uh, send it to the fabrication company in the fabrication company we plan we designed our as yes, expected as circuit in the in the silicon portion okay that is never say wafer that is sent to the other uh, once we designed our uh, circuit that is sent to the board design engineer the board design engineer aligned the all the uh, uh, circuits finally converted into one uh, kind of application board that is sent to the final customer okay that is the here named as a end product here one power one power what is here block is available that is silicon validation what is the silicon validation means in the wafer it consists lot of uh, dye so okay in this dye that is we cover the fault we find the fault coverage that means we ratio between um, working dye divided by uh, number of web dye in the uh, coverage this is, this is named as a silicon validation so next topic is mos transistor basic that means modulo in mos is metal oxide semiconductor already we know the transistors are built on silicon on silicon substrate the yeah, silicon has how many valence electron four valence electron which forms crystal that is it bonds to four neighbors uh, in in normal silicon act as a insulator in uh, pure silicon act as a insulator how can we increase the conductivity we add some dopant material if we add Mm, penta valence electron it becomes n type semiconductor if we add uh, three uh, valence electron out of its silicon it becomes p type semiconductor this is a n mos transistor cross sectional view that is n p n so in the p substrate we doped uh, in material converted into n n transistor uh, it has four terminal that is source gate drain and substrate This is a cross-sectional view of PMOS transistor. In this PMOS transistor has four terminals: that is, source, gate, drain, and substrate. It is the opposite of NMOS transistor. It is a transistor. Okay. What is the application of transistor? Mainly, it is act as a uh, amplifier and switch. Here we mainly focus that it act as a. In real life, this is it is a mainly act as a switch. Okay. So how it can be act as a switch? Mainly, there is gate act as a input of our the, our transistor. If gate value equal to n mos transistor, gate value equal to one means it, uh, n mos transistor on. If gate value equal to zero, n mos transistor off. That means uh, drain uh, disconnection between drain and source. If uh, g value equal to zero. PMOS transistor. Uh, this is the symbol of PMOS transistor. The bubble indicates PMOS transistor symbol. So that's just the opposite of PMOS uh, transistor is PMOS. If G value equal to one, transistor is off. If G value equal to zero, means PMOS transistor is on. Next topic is CMOS logic. So this is the transistor symbol of. Um, a PMOS transistor, NMOS transistor symbols. So we already we know gate, source, drain. The bubble indicate PMOS transistor symbol of PMOS transistor. In gate, uh, without bubble, in the gate terminal, without bubble means that is NMOS transistor symbol. If the gate terminal has um, bubble means it is represent PMOS transistor symbol. This is the CMOS transistor. Already we know that our real SI circuit will. Uh, Follows CMOS technology. That means combination of NMOS and PMOS. Here, uh, bottom of the transistor symbol is NMOS transistor, but top of the symbol is represent as PMOS transistor. Always PMOS transistor placed in top of the transistor in, in CMOS. Then uh, NMOS transistor bottom of the uh, placed in bottom of transistor. Okay, this is why how it is act as a. What is the principle of CMOS inverter? It is act as also the CMOS, the CMOS transistor named as inverter. How it is act as a inverter? This 
invert the this is the same symbol of cmos transistor the pmos gate terminal and nmos gate terminal join together and give the as that is act as a input a then in between of nmos transistor pmos and this drain line terminal from the drain terminal we can take output of that circuit that is named as a y okay if a value equal to a value equal to 0 means Uh, normally, uh, out, what is the output of uh, inverter for A value equal to what? Zero, one. Same way, this is also it is act as the inverter. If A value equal to zero means A value equal to one. If how that is A equal to zero means N MOS transistor is off. P MOS transistor is on. That is there is one path between between V D D to Y. So also what it is act as the it is named as the inverter. Then, how to design NAND gate using CMOS logic? That is, uh, that is here also this diagram shows this diagram shows the CMOS CMOS NAND gate. So in CMOS NAND gate, P MOS transistor here in two P MOS transistor also P N MOS transistor in the P N MOS transistor serially connected, P MOS transistor parallelly connected. Uh, we check with our truth table. A value equal to zero, B value equal to zero means. The P pull up network is P MOS transistor is named as pull up network. N MOS transistor is named as pull down network. Here A value equal to zero, B value equal to zero means pull down network. That is N MOS both N MOS transistor is off. Then uh, pull down uh, pull up network. If both are on, so at th that time there is some path created between V D D to Y. So uh, the V D D is represented the output of Y. That is equal to that is equal to one. So similar way, the next we give the inputs or A value equal to zero, B value equal to one means the pull down network of the pull up network on. So output is one. Similarly, we check all the uh, there is the remaining combination of inputs for NAND gate. So this is the CMOS NAND gate. Then next uh, topic is NOR gate. This NOR gate, this is a CMOS NOR gate. Here we can also we use two uh, the two input NOR gate. So we need two NMOS transistor for NMOS uh, PMOS NMOS two PMOS transistor for uh, uh, two PMOS transistor for PMOS transistor. So here. Uh, N MOS are parallelly connected. Uh, two uh, P MOS transistor serially connected. So here also we check the NOR gate through table with this circuit. So if A value equal to zero, B value equal to zero means both N MOS transistor are off. Both N MOS trans P MOS transistor are on. So there is path between V D D to Y. So the, so automatically output equal to one. This is for combination for zero zero. Next we uh, we give one zero. A value equal to one, B value equal to zero means at that time the output of NOR gate is output of NOR gate is zero because one N MOS transistor is on. So there is path between uh, there is uh, there is connection between uh, two ground network ground point. So automatically output equal to zero. This is the NOR gate function of CMOS logic. So next one is yes, next we see uh, going to see the component compound gate. That means here we are uh, compound gate performing more complex logic function in a single stage of logic formed by using combination of series and parallel switch structure. We uh, can take this example that is expression y equal to a dot b plus c dot d whole bar. That is uh, now they say logical expression going to implement using. CMOS logic. How can we implement this logical expression using CMOS logic? Means following the, the, these steps. First, take the complement of F. There we represent Y. Here we represent F. And the first, you uh, take the complement of F to form F dash. That means Y dash. That is first you take Y dash. Up here, uh, whole bar to whole bar, bar bar uh, removed. So automatically A dot B plus it comes like A dot B plus. C dot D. Then implement. Uh, go to the step number two. Implement F dash as N N MOS. Once you take complement, that is implement as N MOS network and connect it to the ground point. Then third step is find dual of F dash. That means again we can apply whole bar for the whole bar in our uh, function. 
uh, based on the uh, whole body, implement it as a PMOS net and connect it to the VDD. That means always PMOS is connected to PMOS, source is connected to VDD, NMOS source is connected to ground. This is the uh, logic of uh, designing, implement the CMOS logic, any kind of expression. Then finally we take output point from in between of PMOS drain, uh, between of NMOS and PMOS drain terminal. This is the, uh, these steps are followed uh, to design or to implement our function using CMOS logic. This is a uh, assignment given for you. In, uh, based on the lecture, you can solve the, this problem. Uh, in the next lecture, we are going to try to solve this function using CMOS logic. Thank you.